think I'm not grateful, but it's time for me to take my career to the next plateau. And Last night, I was sitting up in my room. Your bone structure, your figure. Has anyone ever talked to you about modeling? Just this old guy that comes in here with a Polaroid. <laughs> Got to make up your mind. If you're into the 90s as I am, then you've heard of Tatiana Ali before, AKA Ashley Banks, her most popular well-known character from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She had such a very promising career from the 90s and 2000s, and she was just a staple and icon in the community, not just in the black community, but overall. The Fresh Prince was, right? And she starred in other films and TV shows. We're gonna get into all of that, her phenomenal career and her inspiring life, and she is also very intelligent a Harvard graduate but we are gonna get into and little scandals that she's been involved in which aren't really scandals at all if you ask me in my opinion but as usual we are going to talk about her beauty secrets because she has aged so gracefully it's something about the 90s starlets they just age so gracefully right and we're gonna get into her secrets her fitness secrets diet etc where is she now what is she doing and just her very private phenomenal life but first, hey friend, welcome to my channel, Karina Lude, where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars through history. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. Now, without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's start with Beauty first. She did an interview with Yahoo Beauty and Yahoo asked her, how do you love yourself? She replied, loving yourself is all encompassing. Firstly, it starts with how I care for my body. I became a vegetarian around the time that I began working on this campaign. I didn't expect it to also change the way I interact with my environment and our consumer culture, but it has completely. Secondly, taking time for myself through meditation is essential. Thirdly, giving and accepting only the best in all of my relationships, but build a deeper self-love than I've ever felt before. Yahoo Beauty went on to ask, what are your favorite beauty products and what does your regimen consist of? She stated, I keep things pretty natural, cocoa and shea butter for my body, argan oil for my face and hair. I try to always use a sunblock. I occasionally get facials, but my mom always taught us that simpler is better. And Vibe Magazine asked her, do you have any tips on how to get rid of blemishes? She stated, it's kind of old school, but it really works. Toothpaste. And she continued all by saying, if you get a zit or something and you put toothpaste on it, the next day it just makes it go through the process a lot faster. I don't know what's in the toothpaste that does that, but it works. Another really good thing is if I have a breakout or something, I'll steam the face in the shower or put water on the stove and use a towel to steam it. And it gets all the impurities out. They are all old school remedies, but those are the best, end quote. I'm a blow if you use toothpaste still. Yeah, I use toothpaste. When she was asked how does she stay fit, she said, I love spinning. It's my favorite. It's really intense and it's great music. I love it. You burn like 400 to 600 calories in an hour. There's nothing else that does that. And it's just fun, you know, dancing to the music really fast. So I do that and I try to switch it up. I'll do some Pilates one day or I'll do weights the other day. I try to do it at least three days a week. Now, in terms of fashion, she was a 90s it girl. She was cool and hip and playing with colors. On the Fresh Prince, whoever their designers, their costume designers were, the show had the most iconic looks. Out of all the 90s shows in terms of fashion, I already know how much I loved Hilary Banks' character played by Corinne Parsons on there. And I did a video for her. I'll put it in the comment section and in the end cards. Go watch that out. Um, but I loved Hilary Banks' character, right? And she was the ultimate fashion icon for me. So the show is just known for that. Even in a reboot, having Coco Jones play Hillary Banks and then you know Tatiana Ali plays the current Ashley Banks teacher but to me of course nothing beats the 90s original okay <laughs> but Ashley was very stylish on the show they just knew how to style her up really well you know you got to give the costume designers their props also because it, they put a lot of these pieces together but even outside of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when Tatiana would be on the red carpets and doing events or performing she had a very nice look to her she had the Y2K 
like the early 2000s look which blended in with the 90s look so perfectly so she sometimes would look like she's straight out of the 90s and sometimes straight out of the 2000s right so I really liked her fashion aesthetics and her hair she had this Selena-esque bangs you know she made those bangs a hit for 90s black girls she had the feathered bangs the straight across bangs she had a very eclectic earthy style also outside of the show but she did a lot of natural looks she would use like shimmer lotion and glitter a lot in her musical career days on her body so she'd have the shimmer you know I always love that y2k early late 90s early 2000s like body glimmer shimmer and according to some fandom sites her favorite colors are blue and black so leave a blue and black heart in the comment section for her and she told Huffington Post that her guilty pleasures were bread pudding with chocolate and one night stands <laughs> but we will talk about that later on in the video and clear that up okay but before she was a vegetarian her favorite food was fried chicken and hamburgers but since 2020 she's announced that she went vegetarian now let's get into her childhood Tatiana Maris so Ali, a well-known actress and singer, was born on January 24th, 1979 in North Belmore, New York. Her parents, who are from Panama and Trinidad, have migrated to America for better job opportunities. Her mother, Sonia, was a nurse, while her father, Sheriff Ali, was a retired police officer. Growing up in a multicultural home, Tatiana was exposed to different traditions and cultures from an early age. She inherited her bilingual abilities from her mother and could speak fluent Spanish and some Hindu. With a diverse family background, Tatiana enjoyed a rich and unique childhood. And despite being a celebrity, Tatiana has kept her childhood private and has not spoken much about it. However, sources close to her family reveals that Tatiana was an intelligent child who enjoyed going to school. She attended Marymount High School in Los Angeles and she went to the same school as Kim Kardashian at the same time. She actively participated in various extracurricular activities, including school plays and musicals, proving herself as a talented actress even from an early age. As a child, Tatiana had a passion for music and dancing. With her beautiful voice, she participated in several school competitions. She also loved spending time with friends and family, enjoying different cuisines, and exploring her neighborhood. Tatiana's castmates, whom she worked with on the classic TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, described her personality as a child is friendly and outgoing. She was always ready to participate in group activities and bonded well with her co-stars. Now in terms of her career, Tatiana started her career at the tender age of six when she appeared on Sesame Street, a popular children's educational program. Her talent and passion for acting led to her being cast as Ashley Banks on the NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where she became a household name. Tatiana was just 11 years old when she nabbed the role of Ashley Banks. In a 2000 2015 essay she wrote for Mashable, Ali revealed just how important the show was to her growing up, explaining that there were episodes where Ashley's adolescent milestones were also my own, even my first kiss. Those are the ones I remember best. As Ali literally grew up on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the show's audience couldn't help but relate to her character and fall in love with her, right? She was just very funny, quirky, and she was the first to like Will and want Will around. <laughs> I loved Ashley's character. His role on the show lasted from 1990 until 1996 and during that time she captivated audience with her endearing persona and acting skills. Although Ali's acting career was flourishing, her vocal talent was also present and this was recognized by Will Smith, her Fresh Prince co-star, who encouraged her to pursue a career in music. While Ali initially decided to focus on acting, she eventually gave in to the musical bug and released her debut album Kiss the Sky in 1998. The album was a smash hit and included the hit single Daydreamin' produced by Rodney Darkchild Jerkins, which peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. Despite the commercial success, success of her debut album, Ali's musical career did not take off as strongly as her acting career did. Still, she continued to release music and even performed the title song for Rocking Mira, an indie movie. And in 2014, Ali released an EP titled Hello, which included the single Wait For It, which she performed on the Arsenio Hall show. While her musical career hasn't been as prominent as her acting career, Ali has still made significant accomplishments in the music industry. She has a soulful and jazzy voice with a melodic sound that has enchanted her fans for years. Her style is eclectic and she incorporates various genres including R&B, 
hip hop and pop in her music. Check out her album if you didn't know that she made music out there. Apart from her musical career, Ali has continued to grow her acting career, appearing in notable movies such as The Brothers and Glory Road, and TV shows such as The Young and the Restless, Love That Girl, and Second Generation Wayans. She also won the Living Legacy Award from the Caribbean Heritage Organization in Los Angeles in 2011. Now, in terms of her dating life, she dated actor Jonathan Brandis from 1995 to 1998. The actor then stepped back from the industry, earning a degree in African American Studies and Government from Harvard University. Just one year later, Ali's life was shocked when her ex-boyfriend fellow actor Jonathan Brandis, whom she's been involved with for six years, sadly died by hanging himself. Brandis was just 27 years old and had a promising career ahead of him. His father later stated that he was bipolar and saw signs of manic depression. In a 1996 interview with People prior to their split, Brandis gushed about Ali stating, I love her tremendously. He said, although not much is known about why they split. So now let's talk about her rumors with Drake, right? So there was these rumors with Drake because in an interview she stated that when they asked her what if she had her own show, what would the title be? She said, Dirty Laundry or I Love Drake, in which she stalk him on tour and try to make him realize we're meant to be together and then she went on to say god i love his voice right so she was gushing about drake so after she pledged her love for him online drake ended up showing up to a club where she was having her birthday party at the super club in la and there was this photo that made the rounds on social media where the all grown up former little miss ashley banks can be seen flashing this huge smile as drake put a kiss on her cheeks right and so she was on the real show which is funny too because she had a lawsuit with warner bros over the show real the real because she pitched the idea to them and then six months later they told her they couldn't do it and then six months later they stole her idea basically according to her and had the other girls do it instead so but she still went onto the reel and adrian asked her and said i'm going to let you set the record straight you were rumored to have a one night stand with drake girl is that true and tatiana said no it's not true i literally said in the huffington post article that one night stands were my guilty pleasure but it was a little joke all my answers on that thing were jokey i said a lot of stupid outlandish things and of course that's the thing that gets picked up what girl <laughs> You know, society, you can't joke about stuff like that because people took it serious. And I did read the Huffington Post article. Her answers were very jokey, quirky, like she was all over the place with them. It clearly felt to me like satire or something like that. Like I didn't take anything she said seriously on there because they were not like real answers, you know? And I could tell it was a joke, but the media did take that part and spin it around. But who knows, girl? So Jeannie asked her, but how did Drake get looped into that? And Tatiana said, because he happened to be at the same club that I had my birthday party at, Super Club. He got me a bottle of champagne or whatever. We took a picture and then the picture went everywhere. And then Tamar said, and he didn't try to holler at you. But in March 2016, Ali revealed that she was engaged to Dr. Vaughn Raspberry, assistant professor of English at Stanford University, whom she had met on eHarmony. And they announced that they were expecting their first child. She and raspberry married on july 17 2016 in beverly hills california the couple has two sons and there was these rumors out there about her also that she only dates white men where she said she hates that people will do that because that's not the case she's all inclusive but comment below your thoughts this is all i have for this video check out my hillary banks aka corinne parsons video which i have in the comment section and if you like the music you're listening to in the background the link is in the description comment below who else would you guys like to see i love you guys so much thank you for tuning and until next time.